The Engineering Medal is given to professional engineers who have contributed substantially to advancing the engineering profession in any area of specialization. The recipient's achievements are significantly above the normally high standards of the profession. This year, the Engineering Medal is being awarded in the following categories. Young Engineer, Research and Development, Management, Entrepreneurship, and Engineering Excellence. The recipient of the Engineering Medal for Young Engineer is Dr. Natalie Enright Jerger. My dad probably brought home our first computer when I was eight or nine, and so I took out a screwdriver, I unscrewed the cover of the computer, and was really excited to see what was going on inside. And I think at that age I didn't put the word engineering with it, but I always had in mind that I would love to understand what makes computers work, and that was sort of the early experience. I didn't initially know I wanted to go to graduate school, but probably my second year at university I thought, you know, hey, I really want to have a much deeper knowledge and I really want to work with students. I love working with students. It's really one of the favorite parts of my job. The goal is that they will then outpace me in a particular expertise, and it's just really rewarding to watch them grow through that experience. In the last decade or so, what we've seen is a move towards multiple processors on a chip. We're trying to accomplish more scalable systems, that we're trying to add more cores to the chip, it requires more sophisticated communication, and we're trying to do that in a low power, high performance uh, manner. You divide a task into multiple smaller tasks and then they need to coordinate, and that's really what we're, we're about, is coordinating between multiple processors and multiple computing tasks. So if you go out and buy a laptop today, it's probably going to have a half a terabyte of storage for your music, your photos, your files. And so we're looking at a billion terabytes of data that's out there you know, on the internet being generated from, from the stock market, from Twitter, from Facebook, and being able to mine that data, process that data, medical imaging data. We need tremendous compute to really understand more about you know, all of this data. And so being able to drive architecture, computing systems, to, to achieve that is, is sort of the next horizon. Well, industry partnerships are a huge component of the research and I think it really helps the students in their educational mission as well because the industry has access to cutting edge technology and they can tell us a little bit more about some of the immediate problems that we're facing. Often we try and project out five or ten years but it's useful to then ground those projections in the reality of what industry is facing right now. So being able to liaise with industry partners, being able to have my students meet with them are fantastic ways to, to help ground our assumptions and, and ground the underlying technology. It's also a great way for my students to kind of sell themselves for, for future jobs and, and get a taste of what it will be like when they go out into industry. You know, to think about all of the great work here locally at Toronto, we have some of the top universities in the world, in Ontario, we have a tremendous startup culture, we have some great technology companies, and to think that my accomplishments stood among the best of, the, of all the young engineers in Ontario was, was a tremendous honor, and I was really quite pleased. For her already significant achievements in the profession, Engineer Natalie Enright Jerger is a worthy recipient of the Engineering Medal in the Young Engineer category. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Natalie Enright Jerger.